Well, I've uh, just been uh, testing out uh, some larger magnets. I've only got two of them at the moment. And uh, my new coil. I'm just using a uh, jump start uh, battery. Now I've got my reed switch over there, which seems to be about 120 degrees off from where the uh, coil is. Now, when I hook up power and give it a gentle you can see that it uh, starts spinning and then the closer you bring the coil in the more it wants to spin I think that's working nice and quick now just need to uh, get another couple of magnets to make it rotate more smoothly and when you actually disconnect the power you can sort of gather what speed it was uh, at. Oh, this is the way forward we need to get another uh, couple of them there and there and uh, fix it properly down and uh, we can start doing some uh, proper generation tests then. I decided not to go with the uh, hall sensor because I was told that uh, it draws current even when it's not pulsing and uh, it's about 20 milliamps which we'd like to uh, keep in the battery really so let's see where we go from here 